it's your girl Queenie and this is my life. On my mama now, mama. on the gang too, on the drama now. Drama. Slide with me, she like my homie now. Yeah, yeah. I just hit a Jerry with a Tommy now. No, no. I just hit a Jerry with a Tommy now. Yeah. I just hit a Jerry with a Tommy now. Tommy. We be with the rats, we don't slide with now. Catch me with my cats and I slide with now. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Queenie and this is my life. So here we are, it's May 31st, and tomorrow I embark on a 30-day fasting challenge. Now, I'm not new to fasting. Um, I, well, I am, in the grand scheme of things, new to fasting. I've started fasting in March of 2022. So, um, I'm, I'm going to be doing a mixture of alternate day fasting, oh man, um, weekly. So, so one week will be alternate day fasting. The next week will be, um, oh man. And what I'm hoping to do is, um, crave my sugar addiction, um, be healthier. What I noticed about fasting is, is not just the weight loss that I experienced is, and you're going to hear this from everybody. It is so much more than that. Like, I've been having pain in, in my Achilles. Um, I fasted two days and that pain was gone. Um, I feel lighter. It changed the whole scope of how I eat and how I can know when to stop. Um, and, of course, <laughs> yeah, I know you girl like to eat. So, of course, I'm not perfect. Um, but I'm a work in progress. And um, I know that's what's going to make me be successful in this fast. So I'm going to be journaling within a couple of days to see how things are going. So y'all wish me luck or try to join some days with me. And let you, I'll let you know when I'm fasting. Try to show you what I've eaten. I don't know if I'm going to show you when I'm cooking it. Maybe. And we'll see. So, <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> okay, beautiful people. There's a few things that I forgot to mention about my fast. Um, what my goals are. I didn't say that. My goal is to actually complete this challenge um, fully. I have accounted in my calendar for one day of a pass. <laughs> because I'm going to a concert in Atlanta. Other thing is, is that um, the other goal is to not have any refined sugar dessert desserts uh, because your girl love the cakes and the cookies and ice cream <laughs> and the wine. So I am limiting limiting my wine to the past day and one other day out the month, which normally for me every Sunday besides when I'm working. I'm drinking. <laughs> and the last and final, the most important thing is, is that I have done measurements, but I will not use a scale. I refuse to use a scale. It makes me crazy. I'm um, actually, um, with the fasting group that I'm doing this with, we're not supposed to use a scale. But ever since I have started fasting, I have not used a scale because I like the way I feel. I like the health benefits, and I don't want to be bogged down by that number. Once I see that number and it's not what I think it is, then my brain changes from fasting for health to fasting for a diet. And I'm not doing enough. And I'm not doing that to myself. So, no scale. And um, I'm going to have fun with it. I'm going to do it. And afterward, I will continue a fasting pattern. Um, just trying to find out what works for me right now. Um, but alternate day has to be in it because baby, that alternate day fasting is life. It's hard as hell in some aspects. If you don't do it right. If you don't do it right, it's hard as hell. <laughs> okay, y'all.
Okay, beautiful ma'ams and sirs, it's day one of the fast. Now, in our group, <clears throat> I'm with the alternate day fasters unite. Um, as read, is the group is run by um, Colleen Marie. She is everything. We all love her. Today's supposed to be a feed day, <clears throat> but I chose to do today as a fast day because I'm not a beginner, and I made sure to feed myself. <clears throat> really good yesterday so i can rest get myself together who i'm sweating y'all who this 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 afterburn and there's no carolina sun baby so my plan is to um i drunk some sips of water with <clears throat> my workout but i usually dry fast while i am working i work two jobs so i go in for one job i work in downtown charlotte and then the next job i work from home except for two days after month so I'm going to drive fast until I get home, which will give me about, it's about 8.30, 8.39 now. So, um, I'll try, I'll get off about 2 o'clock. But, baby, let me tell you a quick story. Whoo, I worked in down to that building yesterday. And, baby, we are on the fourth floor and the um, air was not working. And myself, you know, I'm always trying to get the sun. And so, I drove in with the windows down, like, because it's going to be cold at work. Baby, I got up in there. When the devil was sitting on down to my back, Lord. Woo, yeah. So I pray to God they got that fixed today. But y'all, Leah, let me go. Cause see, um, after that workout, now I'm sweating and I'm facing the sun. And baby, this shit he ain't no joke. Um, excuse me. Anyway, I'm off, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> today um it kept my mind busy um i'm doing good so far um I, i've been fasting for a while so i kind of know what to expect um the only thing that really bothers me when i'm fasting like a, on a whole day fast is your brain your brain you know triggers off of the the signals and my brain will say oh girl tonight you're gonna cook some he was like, yeah, you can't have it. <laughs> ah, you can't have nothing. But it's okay. I'm still in a dry fasted state. Um, I filled up my water bottle. So I plan on drinking this and filling it up again. Um, 
so we'll see we will see what happens here um i i have the urge to drink now um of course i did because i sweated it. it's hot um but you know we'll see how it goes um, i try to cut off drinking about nine o'clock because you know i don't like all that back and forth back and forth going to the bathroom so right now is about 2 30 i'm gonna go in the house and say hey to my beautiful granddaughter y'all don't laugh at her she 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 sees the camera and she gonna act the fool so don't laugh at her okay laugh at her because she is too much so um and then we're gonna set up for work um you know defrag you know get myself together ready to work the next eight hours this and this is the if i would call it stressful this would be my stressful job as y'all saw my first job i just had my headphones in you know nobody bothers you you just do your job you know what i'm saying but at this job i be bothered i am bothered they bother me <laughs> ah! um it's a blessing and a curse because i've been doing the job for I just had an anniversary, 12 years, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do. Um, so that's a blessing to be good at something. But then it's a curse because when you are good, then they look to you. Sometimes as human beings, you know, it's good to be good at something, but sometimes I just want to hide. Sometimes I just, can't you just, like, leave me alone? Like, can't you just, like, find um, so-and-so? um and let them handle it but you know it pays the bills and it sends me where i need to go on all these lovely trips okay so let me take my first sip oh baby oh when i say that feels like heaven whoo that is so good okay let's go Hi, hi, Skylar. How was your day today? What did you do today? I did nothing. You didn't do nothing? Uh, did you watch TV? What you watch? I Put your dress down. I've been watching. DJ and Kyrie. Oh, DJ and Kyrie? You mean the Prince family? Okay, shout out to the Prince family. <laughs> she, she loves your content. So, um, that's how you been doing? You didn't eat nothing? Yeah. What'd you eat? I ate a sandwich. You had a sandwich? Okay, good. Did you take my, that chair out the kitchen? Because I know you had a chair in the kitchen to get in that freezer. Uh-uh, not that 10. Oh, you don't? Okay, well, at least introduce yourself to the folks. How old are you? All right, so you're three years old? Yeah, bye, Bobby. Oh, you are? When are you going to be four? At my next birthday, but it's your birthday next. Oh, my birthday next? No, your birthday is next. Your birthday is before mine. Yours is in August, and mine is in September. How do you know I got my birthday when my birthday is next? Oh, because I was there when you were born, sweet pea, so I know exactly when your birthday is. Oh, she's giving me a hug, y'all. She just loves her granny.
evening, folks. It is now 11.06. Day one is in the bag. Yes. So I made it all the way through. Um, I showed you I, I got through one of the waters. Um, I didn't have to the, the heart of the strength to fill it up again. <laughs> I, I got through it at about 8, 8.30. So that's pretty good time. And that's a... 64 ounce um water jug so you see that one right there that's the the granddaddy that's the 73 ounces so i pulled it back out and um that's what we're gonna go with rock with from here on out tomorrow is a feast day i am so happy about it you know i like i like fasting but i like feasting too so i'll show you day two and then we're going to take a break, and then I'll catch up with y'all maybe mid-month, mid you know. Let's see what I'm eating on tomorrow. This should be good. <laughs> so, have a good night. I'm about to go and take my shower and uh, clock out and crash. Whew. people okay so we are on day 15 we are on day 15 of our fasting challenge and it is going really well um i cheated today <laughs> and took my measurements to halfway to kind of see well i hate to say the word cheat is not in our vocabulary people so i took my measurements today i'm not gonna share with you guys yet but as you see i'm smiling um of course i know this works because like i said i've been doing this since March 
of this year. But I decided that, you know, because I, I was getting results with um, fasting and then kind of branching out to do and eat whatever I wanted along with the exercise. But I feel like now it's time to step the game up. So um, I've been doing really well. Um, I have not missed the refined sugar. Um, I did have a moment. Um, my grandkids was getting on my nerves. <laughs> I was in here yelling. I'm about to bust their head open. <laughs> so uh, I grabbed a couple of pieces of Milky Way and I just kept looking at them like, this is this is what you do. This is what you do, Queenie. You, you get upset and then you grab the candy thinking it's going to help you feel better. And it, it will not make me feel better. So, you know, that was, that was pivotal. And then too, um, I am, it's cycle time. So, of course, with cycle time, you know what that means. Cycle time means that you have all these erratic, crazy thoughts and feelings and your hormones are going up and down. So, yes, some of my one meal a days have turned into intermittent, intermittent fasting days. And that is okay. Because as long as I stayed the course and ate nutrition, my goal was to feed my body to get through it. Um... And then I use my past days. You'll see on another video. I use my three past days that Colleen gave us. Because I went to go see the ultimate band Coldplay. Woo! It was so exciting, y'all. So, um, those days, I, well, not those days. It was just like one, well, two days. I drank some wine. I made those days intermittent fasting days. Um, I drank some wine. Enjoyed myself. Had a blast. You guys will see. And then I came home and then I started over again. Now, um, because of my PMS and my cycle issues, I have not did a full, complete fast day. And that is fine. That is okay. Even though on my calendar this week, I was supposed to alternate day. This was the alternate week day because I believe I said before I was alternate day, ADF one week, and then one meal a day the next week. So it's okay though, because I'm not pulling up to the drive through. I'm not doing, I'm keeping it nutritious. Um, and I'm just working my way through my cycle because in the end, a full fasting, a full 48, 24 hour fasting day. It'll be waiting on me. It's coming. I mean, it's waiting, it's waiting right at the end. Like, hey girl, come on, welcome back. So even with me doing all of that, people, I am still seeing results. That is the key here. You're not gonna be perfect, Patty. You're not gonna be out here like you Jillian Michaels or some old guru. That's not what this is. You know, steady wins the race. So today, for my 15th day, I mean, yes, day 15, the goal is OMAD, and I'm going to do it. But today is my daughter's 30th birthday. I got a 30-year-old, y'all. Oh, so we're going to, um, we're having but, nothing but cake today. And I will have a piece, you know, because I have not had any refined sugar. And so this is going to be awesome to taste this. See how... It does my body because I think it, it's, it's going to spike my insulin, but it's not going to be as bad because uh, my body is starting to get into repair and stuff. Well, better repair, as I can say. So, y'all, I'm going to work as you see I'm in the car. And I got to head off. Time to work. I got some things to take care of. So, I will check back in uh, on the last day where we take final measurements and we're going to see what's happening. Um, oh, another thing to note, too, is that this is actually June. It's actually a good time to do a challenge because it's actually a five-week month. So, you you should be able to get some good results on five weeks, five months that have five weeks in them. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, um, I'm actually happy about that because even though it's the 15th, like, I still got three more weeks to go. So, I'm actually excited about it. So, Okay, guys, see y'all later.
happening beautiful people it's your girl queenie i am back so we are on the last day of the fasting challenge let me remind you hopefully you watched the video to the end um we did a clean fast this month for 30 days so the strategy was we were going to do alternate day fasting one week the next week we were going to do one meal a day for the whole week and we were going to alternate and we were going to see what kind of results we were going to do now the challenge was not only to do the fast and complete it but we were going to cut out the refined sugars the cookies the cakes all of that and so we were going to just make it through and we were going to do this without being on the scale we were not using the scale at all which i don't use the scale anyway so that part was easy so did i get results a resounding yes y'all i'm gonna insert some pictures um the jeans that i showed you at the beginning where i couldn't button them up they are now up around my waist and button will i wear them yet no because in my life cute and comfortable go hand in hand <laughs> okay so they 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 still kind of tight but i am so further along than i was also um, all around my bust waist area i lost inches i lost a resounding three inches in my waist now was i perfect god no <laughs> Let me say this, on my all my days, of course, I killed it. On my alternate day fasting days, I did, I killed that too. But there were some ADF days that turned into OMADs. There were some OMADs that turned into an eating window, meaning that I ate two meals. Um, but the thing was, I stayed consistent. Every day I fasted at least 12 to 16 hours. Um, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, I did it this way because I seem to always let my hormones and, you know, that monthly time get in the way of my progress. And this time, I did not do that. So I am very proud of myself for that. So I'm going to insert um, some uh, videos and pictures that you can see. Um... Am I thank God it's over? I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, it's over because tomorrow we start a brand new challenge. So it was awesome. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, oh, yeah, and I'm going to insert some food photos, too, of some of the things I ate. Let me know if you really, oh, Lord. Yeah, bro, got this big old truck right here in the name of Jesus. But you know, people gotta work. People gotta work. People gotta work. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So that concludes this journey. Let me know if y'all want to see me do some cooking. I'm thinking about inserting some things that I cook, some normal staples for me, and some things that I've learned from other people on YouTube because they those recipes that they gave me came in in a clutch shout out to always the more shout out to low carb loves shout, just shout out to because i really appreciate that so why don't i spread the love to you too so yeah i think my mind is made up it's made up we gonna cook i don't know when though y'all just give me some time so then we'll talk about our next challenge in a little bit mm -hmm.